Hey guys, this is gonna be the fifth part of this video tutorial series. Um, you know, when we ran last time, we defined something, we did inject it, but this object, this class right here, it has a, you know, parameterized constructor. So, this one is saying, hey, I don't know, there is a no, so a, as you know from, you know, from in CSAR, if there is a Visual Studio automatically provide a default constructor if that parameterized constructor doesn't exist, but in this case, there is a, this, parameterized constructor exists so it doesn't know how to create that instance right that's why that's what it's telling right here so uh, if you look at the stack trace you know um, it went to this controller right here and see make sure that the controller has a parameterless public constructor but this is this is a this is a deceiving though like even let's say just for the sake of it let's say um, into we can create a default constructor here but that wouldn't help us even if we create a default constructor let's just for the just for the purpose let's go ahead and create a default constructor here unity demo controller is my default constructor but it might pass but it might not fail right but we won't be able to use our class. Our class is not saturated. It's not really hydrated to be able to use it. It comes in here, but however, look at this object right here. It's because it doesn't know how to create the instance of this object. This is not. That's not what. That's not what we want, right? Okay. So let's see how to figure that out into our configuration. Um, so. So right here, you know, this register type takes a bunch of parameters. So uh, what we can do is something like this. We come in here, and we this one new um, constructor, in, injection constructor uh, object here. We're going to create an instance of this an injection constructor object. And into this object, we can specify our, um, our parameters, our constructor parameter here. As you can see, this takes the param of object array, right? So it would be really, it, it, you know, if let's say our, in this our imaginary uh, Facebook manager, maybe we want to store those like authentication, username, and all those information into our web config file, which makes sense, right? So let's do that. Let's say first thing we're going to store in our configuration file is System dot connection configuration yeah configuration manager app setting I'm going to store um, the username here that that's shoot maybe I did not copy that let me see. So what I'm trying to do here, as you can see, I'm trying to inject those three parameters to my constructor because these, in this case, you know, the username, um, maybe the username in authentication token comes like that, and maybe the Facebook Facebook auth URL or something authentication URL. Now. So this now this this one is now way different than the others here. When we specify to the controller to the con this this container, hey, when you create the instance of this object, we know it has a three constructor parameter. This is how you can inst inst uh, you know instance it. The first parameter in the username, whatever value it's stored into app setting in the web config file, grab that one. And here is authentication token, and here is the URL. Grab those information in here. So if you do something like that, uh, this would work. But however, before that, of course, we need to go into our web config file and set this parameter. It keeps corresponding to this parameter, we're going to put some values here, right? Let's uh, go into our web config file here. Okay. 
I have this. Okay. Let's go ahead and we need the three of these. Let's copy these here. Okay. I got three of these. Maybe a uh, Jada or Janda or something, of course. And of any case, I'm talking blah blah blah, blah whatever. You know, just a hex, whatever kind of cat. Okay, and this is URL. This is just the imaginary guys. <laughs> Alt token. Maybe it runtime G. Alt token. Then maybe. Okay. Just leave it like that. You know, just uh, just for the demo purposes, that'll be okay. So now, if we run this one, it should be I should be able to go all the way. No. I didn't get any error but I wanted to show you just to make sure that comes in here um, okay if 11 oh it's written false uh, the reason I um, because there was a bug here I, w I just wanted to make sure all this parameter this is not null rather than null so now you should hit into that big point and we are kind of like imitating, you know, as if we had actually connected to the Google, I mean the Facebook website, and then the, we got a correct response. That's what it means. And if that becomes successful, then we basically, you know, if it's authenticated user, you know what, you can do this operation in our system. Okay, great, cool. So to summarize, what we learned here is that when I... I wanted to show you this example because you know, when you work in a real life, you know, most of your classes will have a huge amount of parameter. Sometimes you have to do property injection, sometimes you have to do a constructor injection. You know, so it's um, very rare, most of the time it's a very rare that a constructor will have a default, just a default constructor. But it could be, but like, you know, in my experience, I have faced situations where you, you have, you constructor you take at least you know, a couple of parameters. So that is why I wrote this, this imaginary class to show you how to do a dependency injection for a class that has so at least some pra a constructor parameter, okay? So, okay, so this one is very simple. Uh, and the other thing I would really recommend for you guys if you want to really learn about this framework, usually what I do is I usually, this is open source, right? It's open source Unity framework for Microsoft. I just go into a, a code plex and download the source code and you know read it and try to understand it. There is a um, associated with this. Um, there is a c the main source code and after that there is use test classes. Try to read that test classes and try to understand how you can do all kind of different all different kind of dependency injection of your classes. Anyway, guys, it has been really really nice to share the knowledge that I have learned to you guys. And anyway, have fun and. Code it guys, enjoy it, learn new thing and share with the community. Thank you so much for watching my videos.